Uh, Jack Murray, representing Sinn Féin, is with me. Uh, polled, we think, according to the tally men and women, over 1,400. And uh, that certainly should be enough to get you a seat uh, in the Inishowen area, Jack. I hope so. It's a, a very, very, very good vote. I would, I would hope to be elected hope in the second or third count. I'm about 90 votes off the quota. Uh, my running mate, Albert Doherty, shouldn't be far much further behind me. And I'm very hopeful that Kieran McLaughlin and Moncrana will take a, a third seat for an issue on the peninsula. Yeah, we spoke to Pierce Doherty earlier on and he was very, well, he was pretty sure that yourself and Albert would make it and hopeful that Kieran, that last seat looks as if it could be, maybe those last two seats could be a real battle in an issue on. Certainly, I'll go into the, the early hours of the morning. I know there's a, there's a few people there to be, be scrapping for the last one, but. There's a couple of independent candidates that have been eliminated, eliminated earlier on. Uh, there's been 900 votes between them, and I would hope, be hopeful that Cameron Lachlan will uh, take a good, enough of those transfers to get elected and yeah. take the third seat for us in, in the peninsula. We have seen a bit of a pattern here. Sinn Féin um, started with four uh, from the outgoing. Pierce was hopeful it would be up to nine going back in there, which would be a fantastic performance. Uh, Fianna Fáil look as if they're, they're doing pretty well. They look as if they're going to be the two big parties. We're going to have a mixture then of uh, the government parties who aren't doing well and the independents. I mean, it's important that for a county like Donegal, Jack, that there's unity in the council chamber, that we don't see a lot of the stuff that perhaps went on during the last spell because, you know, we are an isolated county and if, if the people in Dublin look and see the local councillors arguing with themselves, they're not going to do much for us. Yeah, the, the last council at times was quite embar embarrassing some of the actions that were happening in there. Um, a lot of those candidates mightn't get just the, the vote that they were expecting today. Um, so I'm hopeful now that we have to we have to work together. There's, there's no doubt about that. Donegal's been a, a long forgotten county and it needs strong representation. Now, the people have spoken, the people have uh, voted against government party candidates that they weren't happy with. They voted for change and there's a huge responsibility now in those of us who do get elected to deliver for the people because it, ha it has to happen. It's gone on for far too long. For yeah. decades, Donegal has been uh, mistreated and ignored, and now's the time, yeah, as you as you say, together to fight back and to stand up for this county. Yeah. Deputy Joe McHugh told me it'll be a very interesting parliamentary party meeting for Finn Gale on Wednesday night, and obviously he'd be taking a strong message from Donegal to say, listen guys, we're going to get decimated uh, at the next general election. And I suppose that's the sort of message has to go back to the government parties. I know they have a tough job, but a lot of people feel that they really haven't done that job well, given all the problems as they made. Yeah, Joe McHugh has been given a, a clear message today. They need, they need to abandon the policies they've been doing. Joe, Joe McHugh will not be safe. He, he can watch his uh, councillors, very high profile uh, councillors who received very, very large mandates in the last election of, are losing their seats. Mm -hmm. Joe McHugh needs to go in and he's going to that parliamentary party and say what we're doing is not right. The people, the people won't stand for it anymore and Fine Gael are going to get wiped out unless they start uh, changing what they're doing. Sure. Do you feel Sinn Féin can make a real difference now, uh, Jack, look, looking at what's happening here and if you do bring nine back with you, you know, will you have the policies that people will say, yeah, they're, they're reasonable because there has been criticism of your party that their economic policies don't add up. That's something that's thrown out there nearly all the time at you. I'm absolutely confident Sinn Féin can uh, help rebuild this country. Uh, we've been criticised by Fianna Fáil, who absolutely destroyed the economy. Probably uh, one of the worst <laughs> economic parties, I would say, in the history of the European Union. They've done, nobody's done more damage than them, so I'll not accept criticism from that party. Neither will I accept criticism from Fine Gael, who's doing uh, equally as bad a job. Sinn Féin have cost of proposals. We have fair progressive proposals. They've been costed by their own Department of Finance, uh, co-authored by leading economists, and I've, I'm very confident that we can help rebuild the economy and uh, we can do it in a much, much fairer way in which all the citizens of this country be treated equally and that the, the, the bank and debt won't be saddled on the shoulders of people who can't afford it anymore. Yeah. And I suppose one comforting thing for everybody who put their name on that ballot sheet is the turnout here in Donegal. People, you know, there was a serious question mark about whether people would be interested enough to turn out, but there's been a very strong answer to that. It's great. There was people talking that there'd be apathy in Donegal. We were finding it in the doorsteps. Now we've canvassed a lot of doors and we knew people were angry and they wanted to come out. They wanted to punish the government and they wanted to vote for a better way. They wanted to vote for change and thankfully they've done it today. Okay. Jack, thanks for talking to us. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much. much.